Hello friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Lee. I hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're going to go through all the tips and tricks for how to best catch Alpha Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Alpha Pokemon are probably one of the best new features that we've got in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I mean, there are a bunch of really cool features that we've had in Legends Arceus, but I think Alpha Pokemon are definitely a big draw of this. They're a variant of a, any Pokemon that are available, uh, but they're bigger, they're more aggressive, and they're pretty much more difficult to catch. You can approach catching the Alpha Pokemon in a very different amount of ways. You can kind of go head on with them, attack them, you can go stealth mode. Um, but in this video, I'm going to go through a bunch of methods and probably my favorite ones with how best and easiest to catch these alpha Pokemon. So let's hop into game and we'll kick off with probably the strongest alpha Pokemon that we've got available in Legends Arceus. And that's going to be Garchomp. You can just see it over the top here. Now, normally there are, like I say, a bunch of ways to kind of uh, approach catching these alpha Pokemon. Like I say, one of the ways is to um, attack them head on. Now, we've got to be a little bit careful here. Uh, this is probably a good time to talk about an item that kind of helps disguise you and make you not noticed by these alpha Pokemon. And as the stealth spray it's not going to make you like invisible to them but it will make you harder to see and it'll make it easier for you to kind of sneak around them there so just want to be aware the other item that we're going to talk about right now is a smoke bomb a smoke bomb if there aren't is no grass area then a smoke bomb is your best friend like this garchomp it's level 85 so you're going to have to be far enough into your playthrough to be able to get it um, but with having no cover in this area, it makes it even more difficult. So you're going to really need to take advantage of things like smoke bombs to give you cover at least. Um, and as long as you are in here, you can stand up. You don't need to crouch. Garchomp won't be able to see you. And especially if you've got that stealth spray active, then it makes it a lot easier. The other thing that you can do is have a look at a particular Pokemon's Pokedex entry. If we come to Garchomp, you can see that Garchomp has got uh, its preferred foods. And this can be the same for all Pokemon. Pokemon. Now, Garchomp likes uh, honey, grains, and beans. So if you've got any of these items here, you can use these to distract the Pokemon um, and kind of take their attention off you for a moment while they're eating. It makes them easier to catch as well. And you can also get kind of a prolonged period when they're eating if you have these items as cakes. Now, you can get these recipes. So you there, you see you've got a bean cake there. We've got the grain cake and we've got the honey cake. So this Garchomp's actually sleeping. And this is a good kind of um, another good thing to say. If the Pokemon sleeping when you are approaching it, it's going to be less um, active, obviously not going to be spotting you so much. So you're going to have a way easier time um, sneaking up on it as well. So uh, you'll be able to tell it's sleeping. Obviously, it will be normally lying down or something like this. But if we go to lock on with a Pokeball with it, you're going to see the green marker here. And these markers here kind of indicate how easy it is going to be to catch. Now, Garchomp here going to be very easy to catch because it is sleeping. Uh, we're disguised. Um, and that marker will change as soon as it gets up. So if we just throw a sticky glob at it because a sticky glob is another item uh, it's a bit like a mud ball but even for the strongest alphas you're going to be able to use the sticky globs um, to kind of stun these pokemon it takes about four to stun an alpha pokemon so you can see if we can do this just wake it up a bit and we'll see we'll see so there we've got one. Oh, here we go it's going to start you're going to have to be one two three four are we hitting it oh we're not there we go. Okay. So you can see we can hit it there and then we can just throw a Pokeball at it. I don't know if this is going to be able to catch it or not. Maybe. It's pretty strong. Nope. There we go. So you can see that's that's one method to doing it. With the sticky globs for sure, that is a method for you to kind of approach the alpha Pokemon. Now, if you get into a bit of a situation there where you, you don't catch it and it attacks you and you're, you're kind of risking uh, getting knocked out and you want to avoid use Braviary. It's probably the best kind of thing to use to get away from these alpha Pokemon, at least in my experience. Just keep an eye on your screen as well with your stealth sprays. As soon as that wears off, you'll get a message saying that the stealth spray is worn off and you'll need to reactivate a new one because otherwise you'll be more noticeable by the uh, the alpha. So if we drop down here, we'll try and approach it again and we'll do the, the food method. So again, you want to have your stealth spray on. Um, have we got our smoke bombs? Have we got any left? There we go. Okay, we'll drop a smoke bomb down. Just here, that'll give us a bit of extra cover. And we'll use one of our bean cakes here. And we'll see if we can um, kind of preoccupy Garchomp enough to uh, 
sneak up on it with let's see if we can go a gigaton ball because that's always the style points i feel is it going to go for the bean cake you kind of want to approach it from the back as well if you can get a back shot on these pokemon it makes it a lot easier now this is a little bit tricky because we're a bit open here we have got a stealth spray on but we want to drop a smoke bomb just so it gives us that cover it spotted us because our stealth spray is worn off as well we left that a little bit too late um yeah it's gonna come for us which is not ideal so okay we'll try this again i think Golchamp's probably one of the most difficult ones to catch so it's kind of interesting that uh we we can do all these things with it as I say, if it does spot you, you just want to fly away and just wait until that red kind of eye marker disappears. Spotted us again. So we've not been as sneaky as we could have been. Okay, so we're going to just approach this from a different angle now. And I'm going to try the bean cake again because we couldn't really get that to work. So what you want to do is try and throw it in a direction away from where you are. So hopefully that kind of draws the Pokemon with its back to you that would that's the most ideal scenario here and you can see here that Garchomp's eating its marker's gone to green and you can gigaton ball it this time just sneak up on it with the self serial activated we've got the smoke screen has just worn off but that was kind of protecting us and then we've got the Garchomp so that's one way to do this and now we we'll use a different example here we are in the Crimson Mere Lands and we've got an Alpha Rose Raid here and you can see here if we come out of the grass you'll be able to see the kind of, you'll hear your volume change for one, and you'll also see this kind of silhouette appear around your, your eye line. But as long as you're in the grass, you can kind of hide. You still gotta be careful. Stealth spray is something I would recommend still, but then you're not gonna need the need for any sort of things like smoke bombs. Now you can see it's got a decent-ish catch rate right now, but again, what you can do is just highlight it and then click down. It'll bring up its Pokedex entry. And you can see again what foods it's going to like, like uh, the salt, mushrooms, and honey. So, I didn't mean to throw a Pokeball at it. You can do that, but <clears throat> there are better ways to, to approach it. This is one way of approaching it, I guess. Okay, another really good example after the Rosa Raid was kind of failed. Although it wasn't really a fail, I guess it was just a good example of showing you how you can kind of use the grass to sneak up on them, not have to battle them, and then go from there. What I was trying to explain at the time was, sometimes when you come across an alpha Pokemon, there are going to be other Pokemon around you, you're going to have to be aware of, you're going to have to be make sure you are stealth, use the grass or cover if you've got it, and you're going to have to make sure that they're not alerted to you. So the grass here is a very good cover for this Heracross and what you can do is you can lock on and as soon as you're locked on it'll bring us Pokedex entry up if you press down um, and then you can have a look at the food so mushrooms honey grain and beans and what we want to do is try and find some sort of cake the cakes are the best because they're gonna mean that it takes a lot more time for the alpha to eat it and we'll just show you here so this Heracross here is gonna go for this bean cake and you'll see it's yellow now it's green okay so that instantly makes it easier to catch right and you can see the amount of time that it takes for a cake to be eaten now if we go to just say just a bit of honey and this is a considerable amount of time that you're going to have a lot of time to sneak up on it it's going to be distracted and pick it up now it's finished eating it goes back to yellow now if our stealth spray has worn off so we need to be a bit careful but if we throw just a normal bit of honey out and we can see it will have the same sort of effect, but you won't have as long and without a cell spray. And it isn't as strong either. So you're not gonna have as good chances to get it. Now, gigaton balls are an almost guarantee and you wanna go for the back shot, sneak up on it. And then hopefully that is gonna be a way to, oh, and then you wanna dodge out. It's gonna, is it gonna spot us yet? It's not spotted us. Get your stealth spray back on as soon as you can, get into the cover and hope it hasn't spotted you. It has spotted us, I think. It has spotted us, has it? No, I don't think it has. So there is ways you can kind of distract it with the honey cake quickly, get that honey cake on, and then we can wait for it to start eating. We've got that green, and now you can just sneak up on it, gigaton ball it, we can pretty much touch it, get that gigaton ball there. And because it's green, we're gonna have a better chance to catch it. And that should lock it in. And there you go, you see? So there are ways to do it quite stealthily. You don't need to engage in battle. Obviously there are ways that you can 
kind of just battle Pokemon as well if they are an alpha. If you've got a strong enough Pokemon team, um, you can come and battle the alphas because they're going to give good payouts with, with items, etc. And it, it's also maybe a, an easier way for you to approach it rather than going down a route where you have to play the, kind of the stealth mode. Now, as you see, when you approach an alpha like this, this is going to be one of the first ones you're probably going to come across in the Obsidian Fieldlands. And it will notice us and as soon as it notices us you can just engage in battle with it and you're going to have a few ways to approach this you can throw a pokeball straight at it uh, or you can just attack it kind of weaken it a little bit you can see they're all going to be very high levels um, and once you've weakened it a little bit you can then just approach to throw a pokeball at it ultra ball whatever you want at it and then that should be a way to catch it so this is probably the most simple kind of straightforward method but like i say you want to be able to utilize the items um, that you, you've got access to. The sticky globs are gonna be a really good one. The <coughs> smoke bombs are gonna be a way for you to have cover and then the cakes as well. And these can all be obtained from in Jubilee Village. Okay, so when you're in Jubilee Village, you're gonna have access to the shop area or the trader here. Um, I will be doing a video on how to unlock all the items from the trader here. You can see here, you've got all your pokeballs, uh, you've got your healing items, but you've also got access to the stealth spray the sticky globs and the smoke bombs and also the scatter bangs as well as well as all the cakes they're not too expensive and if, especially if you know how to farm money in this game do check out my latest money guide where you can go and just really really farm money very easily or farm items for money very easily and then when you've got the items for the money it's probably best to buy the items rather than farming them yourself because you can craft all of these items but i would say this chap at the crafting store is the one to come to you can buy your crafting materials here to make the sticky globs uh smoke bombs and and everything that you're going to need as well as your kind of pokeballs as well and the item cost is way cheaper here um, and you can also buy the recipes from this chap as well so you can see here you've got the sticky glob recipe there you've got a star piece if you want that and then you've got all these other kind of cake recipes bean cakes and everything that you're going to need to to kind of craft these items so you can see here you can craft some some honey cake if you want dazzling honey and a cake lure base that's all you kind of need so uh, it's easy enough to to get all of these items that you need to uh, take out into the field and make this process a lot easier so like i say check out my money farming guide on the channel because it is going to make just getting these items a lot easier to take out in the field and hence it'll make catching the alphas way way easier so i hope friends you found this video useful there are a lot of tips in here but primarily it's just about being stealthy it's about not having to engage in battle and if you do you've got the option to either throw a pokemon at it or play around with it have a bit more fun with the sticky globs try and stun them and things like that and then catch them that way and um it's it i find it a lot of fun going i love the stealth mode in this game that you can apply that to catching the pokemon and you've always got a chance to get a shiny alpha as well so if that does happen make sure to drop a save straight away if it goes wrong then at least you can come back in and it should still be shiny for you to catch but have fun hope you found these tips and tricks useful and ways to approach an alpha pokemon and um, something that you might apply in your own games if you've got your own methods definitely let me know down in the comment section below i love hearing about how other people are are approaching catching these alphas are you going head on are you going to just be like nah i'm not taking any messing or do you like the more kakashi ninja style and uh, sneak up on them and try and get them that way friends thank you so much for tuning in as always the support on the channel is amazing thank you so much do check out the other legends rcs content that we've got on the channel and um thank you so much again we'll be back for another video very soon on the channel until then take care of yourselves as always and bye bye